The next thing we might want to do in um, trying to clean up or filter our scene is to do something like plane removal, where we uh, first identify the background plane, the major plane that uh, takes a lot of that represents a lot of the data in the scene that we don't really care about. So we want to identify that plane and then um, filter it out so that we don't see it anymore and we can look at the objects that we care about. So with these two code snippets, we've um, taken the Aruko markers because they also lie on the ground plane. And we use those three points, the 3D information of them to define a normal uh, that defines the plane that all of our objects are sitting on. And then um, we can use this threshold metric to remove uh, a certain number of uh, all, all data points that reside on the plane or up to um, threshold millimeters above it. So this is a controllable uh, parameter that we can play with. So at two millimeters, we've done uh, quite a clean uh, removal so we can see a lot of the objects in our scene are, are now sort of standing alone and, and uh, aren't connected to uh, the ground plane so this would make things like object oriented object recognition uh, a lot cleaner for for you know those algorithms if we um, decided to change this threshold and execute again to see sort of to sort of see what what we're removing and what um, sort of the to get a greater understanding of the resolution of the Zivid camera. So I've removed the threshold down by one millimeter. I think this is really interesting because it demonstrates the accuracy, the Z accuracy of the Zivid camera. So we're able to one millimeter by one millimeter remove um, basically thicknesses of the um, pieces of the thicknesses of these Aruko markers. So this is fairly thick th cardboard stock and by removing the ground plane one millimeter by one millimeter, you can see uh, that the camera is resolving these objects within that resolution. So I think this is a pretty powerful demonstration again of how accurate the Zivid camera is. So um, one other thing we might wanna do is to use both the, uh, use the plane removal on the point cloud that was, uh, that was filtered already by the region of interest. So you can see here we've uh, cropped off some of the blue Zivid gem here, and then we've also removed um, the background plane. And so together, again, we're starting to uh, just introduce the different types of filtering that, that happen in, say, a picking application. Um, again, you, the power of the Zivid point cloud is really on display here, where you're, you're able to do all of these different methodologies without having to do, say, a 2D to 3D uh, hand uh, calibration method where you're introducing additional forms of additional sources of error.